Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of War on the Sea with Operation Watchtower. You can see we now have our Yorktown class carrier and is being escorted by one destroyer right now, which is horrendous. It is uh, incredibly, incredibly risky. You can see our little lifeboats here. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's incredibly risky at the, at the time. So we are going to bring some of the uh, cruisers and destroyers that are escorting some of our cargo ships back and uh, rendezvous with this guy and then he will proceed to uh, go up towards Guadalcanal and support the war effort there. So we have these two task forces that are en route and we have the Farragut, the Dewey and the Nashville. Uh, and then three cargo ships. And then we also have the Winslow and the McDougal escorting two cargo ships. So I'm thinking this this um, carrier task force is going to move up that direction. And we're going to rendezvous with this task force one here. And we'll grab the those ships and then we'll put these uh, task force six in with those remaining uh guys from that other task force so and in the meantime Tautog here is going to continue to scan the Guadalcanal area for some ships and uh hopefully we can get this get this show going here I wish I had more scout planes in the area here all right so let's stop right here we want this guy Nashville, Dewey, and Farragut. We want them to merge groups. Boop. There we go. So now the Enterprise, Hull, Nashville, Dewey, and Farragut are all pretty maids all in a row. Alright, so these guys are going to rendezvous with these guys once they catch up with them down here at New Herbides. This task force is going to set a course for up here. And we're probably just uh, hot out somewhere around there and see if we can launch some planes to uh, take care of the, uh, the enemy from up here. I think I might go ahead and send out some wildcats and just to scout around a little bit. Hopefully they can get some scouting done. And then it would be nice if I could get some valves launched to take on anything that they find. Not valves. Uh, Avengers. Some Avengers. I'm just not seeing anything at the moment. I don't see any enemy activity. Ugh, dang. It's rough. It's rough. I think with our next group of ah, Tautog found somebody. All right, four destroyers, three oilers, and two merchants. So I do want to send up a new air. Oh, I can't. It's between eighteen hundred and five o'clock. Dang. So I can't send bombers up, but the Tautog can at least uh, engage. So let's see if we can get something going here with the old Tautog. What is this guy right here? That is a destroyer class. Oh, yes, beautiful. All right, Tautog, let's slow you down. Let's slow you down. I want to target this oiler right here. And we want to classify her as an oiler. Alright. She is an AO class nip on Maru. Yes. Tautog, you just sit pretty right there. When uh, the old nip on Maru passes by, hit her. Guns are blazing. Or, in this case, torpedoes are blazing. So, let's uh, let time pass a little bit. And we'll let them pass by in front of us. And hopefully, by that time, we'll have a nice solution built up for the nip on Maru and uh go from there i'm not exactly sure why we're having such trouble with our 
torpedo solution here. The seas are not rough at all. They're five. Not sure why we have such problem getting our solution above 64%. I mean, they're just steaming straight ahead. I'm going to go ahead and kill my engine. They're at 68%. That's about as high as I'm able to get it at the moment. So let's go ahead and send two. We'll send a spread of three degrees. At 70%. Uh. Alright. Well. We're just going to shoot one round into these. Or one. Uh, one one flight of flight. One. Uh, one. Uh, whatever I'm trying to say. I don't know. We're going to launch uh, a couple of torpedoes. And we're going to get out of here. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. We're going to go uh, hard left. I'll scope down, run silent. We're gonna go deep. And just see if we can get out of here. See if we can get out of here. Hopefully these two torpedoes will sink this oiler and get us a little bit of uh, points here. What a beautiful sunset. Too bad it has to end with someone's death, you know? It's too bad. Really just too bad. Oh, that's a beautiful... Beautiful shot right there. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, Tall Tug. Let's see if your uh, eels do some good work here. Here they come. You can see them right here in this area. It's hard to see them when the, when the sunlight is directly uh, in their wake, which is good for us because that's what they will see, the sailors. So hopefully they don't see those torpedoes. And let's see if we can get a hit, maybe with both of them, maybe with one of them. And one of them. Oh, it was a dud! Darn it! God, you freaking horrible American torpedoes. Let's see if this guy will hit this guy back here. I don't have high hopes. I've got some hopes, but not high hopes. Now nah, they're going too slow. He's got to pass in front of them. Yeah. Uh, nah, it's going to pass in front of them. God, dud torpedoes. Okay, well, that's disappointing, isn't it? I could probably shoot another round if I slow down and go back up to periscope depth. Nah, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Alright, so we didn't do any damage, unfortunately. No damage there. We do know they're in this area. So let's just uh, see if we can continue to circle around here and find them as they continue to trot along here. That would be nice. Florida Islands. We're losing some troops. Ah, oh, here we go. We can do another assault on these guys. <laughs> Hopefully this time a little more luck. Okay. It's dark. That makes it a little more interesting. Ah, oh, there they are. I was looking too far... Too far south. Okay. There we go. So let's uh, go ahead and target this guy. Or maybe I should target this guy. No. This guy? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. All right. And he is an Euler class. Yep. Nippon Maru. There we go. All right. Can you start building up a solution, please? Okay. Start building a solution. 
Keep going, keep going. How many? I got two torpedoes in the front. We'll go two with two degrees. Spread. Hopefully, no freaking duds this time. Alright, let's see if I can get my gyro down to about zero here. That would be ideal. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Build up your uh, solution there, men. And uh, let's see if we can slow down a little bit. 40%? Come on, man. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fire, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and fire. Alright, firing our torpedoes. We're gonna go ahead and dive. Three knots. I'm gonna go ahead and go hard to starboard. And see if we can get, get the heck out of dodge here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we've already hit this guy once before, but uh, the torpedo was a dud. So, no luck. Look at that. Just sailing in the moonlight. Never know she's about to get hit by a couple of American torpedoes that'll probably just bounce off her hull. Okay, it's hard to see the uh, torpedo wakes in this darkness, but uh, I might be able to catch a Oh, there they are. You can see them right here. They're coming in. This one might hit. This back one is not going to hit for sure. I might all just start shooting one torpedo at a time. This don't look like they might both miss, actually. There's only a 40% solution, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, they're both going to miss. Both going to miss. One of them might hit that destroyer. Yeah, they both missed for sure. Ah, darn. Even now that it, the solution is still at only 40%. Missed again. Uh, anything in the back? Got to get a hit? Nope. Missed everybody. Darn you, Tautog. Darn you. I'm just going to go come back up to periscope depth. Back up to periscope depth. We're going to try to shoot our rear torpedoes. So we have uh, four of them ready. And I'm going to see if I can shoot at them. Solution 10%, 12% on the Nippon Maru here. Uh, radar on. I might just go a nice widespread all six torpedoes just see what I can fire and hit. We're at 58 percent. You know what the heck. Just fire. Alright. Fire tor four torpedoes. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. Maximum spread. I have no idea what what we're gonna get here, if anything. Probably nothing. Probably just a big fat waste of torpedoes, but let's see. Alright, here they come. Here comes the torps. They oh man, they are spread wide. Wow. That is a wide spread. <laughs> There's one here, one here. One here, and one there. It'll be a miracle if we hit anything with these things. It'll be a miracle. I guess because of the darkness, or have trouble with the torpedo solutions, or I'm not sure what the problem was. I mean, because they had a low solution earlier, too, and it was not dark, so. And we hit, we hit the nip on Maru, but it was a dud. Of course it was. Of course it was. And misses, misses all around. 
And the rest of them are just misses as well. Yep. Oh, we just caught the tail end of this destroyer. Just caught the tail end of that destroyer. And she is hit. Oh my. Yes, she is. She is not looking good. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Right in the tail end, man. Right in the stern. They're all turning away from us. So that's good. Except this guy back here, he's turning into us. Looks like they might actually have a collision up there. Eee. That destroyer's gonna hit this cargo ship. Eee. Oh no, he crazed. Just grazed right past her. Just barely. Now he might be coming after us. This guy rammed into this ship. Of course he did. He's having a hard time steering, probably. Oh, man. He's burning hard. What we got here? Heavy. Heavy. These two ships have heavy damage. I only hit one of them. The other one has heavy damage from ramming his buddy there. <laughs> Stinkwad. Okay. Let's just kind of stick around a little bit and see what happens with this... Uh, this fella. This guy's not looking too good either. They both might sink. Oh my. Look at this fella. Got rammed hard by his buddy. Not looking good. And it's one of those ships that I like. With the open guns. What is this? What is this destroyer here? It's a destroyer. Open guns. I think it's this guy right here. The Momi. Slightly angled stack with the... Oh, he's gonna... Is he gonna get hit again? <laughs> Love it. I think this might be her. Mommy class. Yeah. Alright, looks like they might have themselves back under control, so... We're gonna go ahead and leave. I don't think they're gonna sink. But, the fact that we got heavy damage on two destroyers from one hit... One torpedo hit. I'm pretty happy with that, to tell you the truth. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. I would have liked to have gotten some good hits with, uh, on those, uh, cargo ships, but you take what you get and get, right? You know? Tall Tog, another encounter. All right. Let's do it. Scope up. Scope up. There they are. Oh yeah. So you basically have two torpedoes. I mean, uh, two uh, destroyer class that are out of commission. All right, so let's go ahead and build up a solution to this Nippon Maru here. Do I have any torpedoes in the front? No, I do not. So I'm going to have to turn around and see if I can get my aft torpedoes. I've only got six of them total. Let's just see if we can get these guys uh, built in a solution. Very good. I'm going to let them pass in front of us. What are they doing? They're drunk. They are drunk. Okay. Well, we only got a 56% solution, so... I'm gonna go ahead and fire all four torpedoes. Two degrees spread. It's up to 58% now. Let's see if they can continue to swing past us here. Maybe go get up just a little bit more. Look at all of them all clustered together. God, that is nuts. Let's just fire. Let's fire. Okay. There's the eels in the water. I mean, surely, with everybody all clustered up like that, we're gonna get a hit. 
against somebody. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go ahead and let him start reloading torpedoes in 240 seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Here comes the torpedoes. I'm going to go ahead and put my scope down. Just so that they don't uh, see me as easily. Turn my radar off. Okay, I would love to get a hit here. Ah, oh, missed again. Darn. This reminds me of the, my early days in submarining here. Where I couldn't get a hit. Darn it. Maybe I can get that destroyer back there. What's he doing? Keep going straight, man. Keep going straight. Nope, miss. Ah. Frustrating. Frustrating. So frustrating. Well, you know what that means. Tautog now has to make way back to New Herbides. Because, uh... She's got nothing else to offer. Can't do air because it's too late in the evening. All right, so we got this guy down here who has now arrived and we're gonna let him manage cargo. And we're gonna grab some more troops and he doesn't have any fuel or engineering available. So we'll get some more supplies in this boat. And then this boat, we're not gonna get anything. So that's fine. All right, so we got some more troops and supplies. This guy should go ahead and get a little closer. And with them, we're going to manage cargo as well. And with the Cimarron, we want nothing. McDougal, nothing. Winslow, nothing. Top C3, let's grab some more supplies. And then we also are going to get this ship, this ship here. And they're all going to merge with them. And they are going to set course for the Florida Islands. Okay. And we're about to ready to start some aircraft launches. Aircraft's now ready. Okay, Wildcats. Let's send them out. And see if we can find some enemy vessels. I pit this way. Hopefully the uh, same ones we, we found earlier. And I, maybe, hopefully I can launch some bombers or something. Alright. Oh. We found some zeros. Okay. Wildcat. Radar. 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 All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find those zeros. They should be kind of south of us. Oh, whoa, we found the boats. Even more important. More important, we found those boats. All right, so let's take a look at the boats here. Should, oh, this is a different set of boats. This is two destroyers, two cruisers. Oh my. Got light cruiser there, got a heavy cruiser over here. Yeah, these are different. Yeah. Very interesting. I still would like to uh, send some bombers up this way. I don't think I'm going to strafe them with my fighters. Because I'd like to. Uh, Engage the enemy fighters if I can find them. 
So let's just uh, see if we can find those enemy aircraft that engaged us. Aha! Found them. Okay. So, looks like we are ready, all four of us, to engage with this guy and attack. Yep. Peel off to engage. Oh, oh! All right, well. That wasn't too bad. Coming back around. Another engagement. Okay. Swinging back around. They're circling as, as well. Oh, shoot, another flight of them. Another flight of freaking fighters. Not good. Okay. Unless they're bombers. Nah, they're fighters as well. Well, this is probably not going to end well for our wildcats. Probably not going to end well for our wildcats. That's a lot of enemies. Okay. Trying to get around on this damaged zero here. Coming around, coming around. Firing. Got him. Oh, but he got us. Darn. Okay. Yeah, this is not looking good here. Okay. Get him. Get him, wildcats. Well, that's a lot of zeros, man. A lot of zeros. Another wildcat downed. Wonder if we can get out of here. Hightail it out of here. Cease attack. Get out of here. I might be able to outrun these guys. I don't know. They're coming at us. I'd love to have him stay on the map, though, see? So that I can see where to send my bombers. Although, with all these fighters around, the bombers aren't going to live very long. This guy's damaged. On top of that, but... Looks like I might be able to run away. Live to fight another day, my friends. Okay. Yeah, I lost three aircraft. They lost two. Alright, so let's get a new air flight of Avengers. They're going to fly up here and take on those boats. Also have my aircraft carrier here. Uh-huh. Enemies spotted near Wildcat. Okay. This is the one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, four destroyers. Okay. Let's just continue to circle around this thing, keep it in our sights so that the Avengers here know where to go. Yeah. Alright, you keep keep circling. He's only got twenty nine miles of fuel left. So he won't be able to stay with them much longer. But hopefully long enough for the Avengers to target them. Yep. This way. Come on, Avengers. Avengers, assemble! I have to be careful because the, the uh, planes from an aircraft carrier, if they're shot down, you have to go back to a base to replenish. So, alright. Avengers are here. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah. Get ready boys. There they are. Alright. I want the first Avenger to break and target him and attack. Radar on. Second Avenger. Break. 
target. Attack. Radar on. Third Avenger. Break. Attack. Target. And last Avenger. Target. Break. There we go. Everybody's circling down. Oh man, they are all in it together, Betty. They're all going after the heavy cruiser. So. Hopefully we can get some hits on this guy. There they are circling like vultures. Off in the distance. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're turning towards the planes. That's actually a really good idea. A really good idea, because then now the planes aren't going to be coming at a... Oh, shoot. Zeros. Zeros incoming. Now right, here they come at the worst possible angle. Worst possible angle. But I don't have time to uh, adjust their flight plan because of those zeros. Gonna be diving on them soon. Oh man. What the heck? Zeros coming in quick. Oh my god. Oh, they all got shot down. Torpedoes look like they're gonna be ineffectual. Not gonna hit this guy. Four misses, looks like. Oh, just barely, though. Just barely. Some good piloting by that captain. Good piloting, because uh, he dodged all those. This guy looks like he's going to dodge them. Just barely, but... He's going to dodge them as well. Uh, might clip him? Nope. Nope, dodge. Complete dodge. All four... Torpedoes ineffectual. All planes lost. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Wildcats returning to base, of course. Should I send planes from the CV group? That's what I want to know. Launch aircraft. No ship selected. Uh, well. Thought I did. Okay, so I can send, uh, oh crap, 12 Wildcats, 12 Dauntless, and 12 Avengers. That'd be a heck of a uh, flight group, wouldn't it? Oh, they can, sh they can send bombs as well, and depth charges, and rockets. Wow. Interesting. I can't send all of them at once. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and send the Dauntless group. 12 out of 24. Yep. We're going to send them up here. Alright. And then... Uh, get them going. I want the Enterprise to also launch... A flight of Wildcats. 0.6 hours. Okay. Half an hour. I'll send those wildcats up to help defend. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and launch another flight. We'll send these uh, Avengers up. We'll send torpedoes this time, and we're gonna send them. What's their range? Three sixty-two. We're gonna send them up this way. Hopefully, the zeros are not around. All right, and then these Dauntlesses, we're going to send them up this way. Again, hopefully the Zeros are not around. Hopefully the Zeros are not around. Oh, there's Zeros. Dang. Okay, well, shoot. Not good. That's a lot of Dauntlesses. We're going to go ahead and start trying to retreat as soon as we can. Oh, they see the ships. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold your horses. Group one. Target. This number one ship. Attack. Go. 
Break. Group two. Attack this number two ship. Attack. Yep. Group three. Attack this number three ship. No, don't don't break. Form up. Attack. There you go. All right, we're going. We're going for it. We are going for it. I know in in real life, uh, you'd want to go lengthwise against the uh, ships to uh, maximize your likelihood of hitting them, but I've. From watching other people play the game with dive bombers, it looks like you get a better hits when you go broadside. So, we'll see if that's the case with these guys. We're going to go uh, broadside against this uh, heavy cruiser and see what happens with these uh, dauntlesses. Lots of dauntlesses. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. There they go. Going in their dive run. Oh boy. Drop those bombs. Oh, we lost one. Oh, good hit. Good hits. Good hits. Oh, good hits in this cruiser as well. What about that last flight? Last flight? What are you doing? You guys, keep flying straight. This flight, what are they doing? They're diving. They're diving. They're going for this cruiser right here, I guess. Let's see what we get. Oh, one slot hit there in the stern. Better than nothing, though. Oh, man. That gunfire is nuts. That gunfire is nuts. All right, well, we got some pretty good hits there, honestly. Pretty good hits. Moderate damage, minor flooding, moderate damage, minor flooding, minor, minor. Well, no, that's not bad. That's not bad. We probably could go around and uh, do some strafing, but I feel like that won't be super effective. And we'll probably end up doing more uh, losses to our planes than damage to our targets here. So, uh, yeah, these two guys are in pretty bad shape. Uh, I can retreat now, it says. I don't see the enemy zeros. So I'm just going to sit here for just a minute and see if we get any any uh, good sinkages or anything with these guys. Alright, looks like they might be getting the fires under control, maybe. Alright, we got moderate and minor, moderate and minor, and minor and minor. That's not bad. We lost one aircraft out of that flight. That is not, that is not terrible. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, Dauntlesses, return to base. Alright. You guys, change your course. I want you to come right around here. That's where those ships are. We want to get those guys before they can do any additional damage to us here. Enterprise is ready to launch aircraft. That's fun. There they are. Okay. There they are. Here we come. All right. This is a lot of Avengers here, so let's uh, turn on radar, start, oh yeah, look at this, okay, we're going to go, we got enough planes, we're going for every single boat out there, alright, they're going to circle around out here over the ground, and they're all going to head down and uh, attack those boats. That's a lot of torpedoes going to be in the water, man. Let's see what happens. Don't get too close to the ground there, fellas. Don't 
get too close to the ground there, fellas. Oh my god, this looks this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at all these torpedo bombers streaming in. Oh, it's a sight to behold. It is a sight to behold. Now, we're going to lose some planes for sure. I'm no doubt about that, but hopefully we can get some hits on these guys. I mean, surely some of these torpedoes are going to get some hits. There's just so many. Oh, we lost a torpedo bomber. Oh, my God. I might have got a hit over there. Oh, shoot. Lost another. Oh, my God. Got a hit just with. Oh, we got another hit over there. Another hit there. Oh, nice. We got some hits. Got uh, the torpedo. One, two, three hits. Our right, two good hits, two duds. Looks like we might have lost two aircraft. Okay. Well, I'm kind of surprised by that. A little bit. I thought we would have hit more. Lots of misses. Lots of. This guy might turn into one of these torpedoes here. We're lucky. Nah. He's going to miss it. Uh, he might hit it. It's right here. He's still turning. He's still not. Nah, it dudded out. It, it it petered out there. Somebody else was hit by one though. Number six. Oh, number six sunk. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, I'll take that. Number five's not looking too hot. No, that's not number five. Number four. No. Number three. Ah, oh, it's number three. It's not looking too good either. Not looking too good either. Alright. Well, you know what? I'll accept that. That was a pretty good run. This guy who was on fire earlier is looking okay. This guy's uh, looking pretty okay too, really. Honestly. Number three. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. Number six is gone. Four and five might co collide here. If we get lucky. What are they doing? Hey, did you see that? Oh, I saw it. <laughs> Pass them by to wave at each other. Oh, man. Well, I don't know if this thing's going to sink or not, but it's not looking too hot. Oh, fire spreading. Fire spreading. Alright, looks like he's going to get his fire under control. So we're going to go ahead and leave. We did uh, some pretty good damage. We did sink one destroyer. Only 850 tons, so we only got two command points for it. But we did heavy damage on another one and some minor on a couple of others. So not bad. Not bad. Let's have these guys return to base. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Love the new carrier. Love the new carrier. Let's see if we can launch one more strike f craft. Now for 1.2 hours. Okay. So let's go to 10 o'clock and see if we can launch another. All right, we're ready for another launch. Let's send these Dauntless out. And we're going to see if we can find that fleet. Hopefully we can find it. Hopefully we can find it. There he is. There he is. Okay. He's running. He's running. He can't run fast enough. Oh, yeah. Dauntlesses. Are you ready? All right. There they are. Okay. Very good. This first flight... I want you to fly up here and then target number one. Okay. There they go. Second flight. Turn it 
turn on your radar. I want you to target number two. There you go. Third flight. I want you to target number three. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we get done on this last bombing run here. Let's do this. They're going uh, stern to bow this time. Doing a long run. Hopefully they don't bracket on each side of the ship with the with the bombs here. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That was freaking beautiful. Misses on that one. And looks like misses on this one. But oh man. Did they get hits on this first one? Oh my god. That was freaking epic. Yes, it was. How many planes did I lose? Uh. Had four direct hits. I didn't lose any planes? Are you kidding me right now? Had some damage, looks like, but. Oh my god. This guy's dead in the water, man. He's going zero right now. He is going zero right now. And he might get tapped by this, uh... Nah, he's gonna miss him. Just barely. <laughs> I wonder if I could send this... All these guys. And do a strafing run of that guy back there. Come back around. Cause he's all by himself. And he's already wounded. That's, this is ris risky, yeah? I don't know. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Nah, I probably shouldn't. I probably should just go ahead and retreat. They're gonna get shot down. You know what? All of you guys... C cease attacking. Fly off. Get out of here. Warm up, get out of there. There you go. Get the heck out of Dodge. I want to see if this thing sinks. Well, he's... She's, she's doing some counter flooding, looks like. She's trying to... She's trying to ride herself. Oh, man. I am loving these aircraft carrier. Let me tell you what. That's freaking amazing. That is freaking amazing. I was kind of hoping this destroyer would leave them helpless over here. Number one is sinking. <laughs> oh, she's sinking. She is sinking. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, down she goes. Down she goes. Eleven thousand two hundred thirty tons from that. Nice. Excellent. Excellent hit.